there we go, better. So, so um, yeah, we're gonna figure this out. So to stream live on Facebook means that I get to hold a phone all night long. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me now on Google Hangout. Um, okay, Woo! this could be fun. Well, we'll try, I'll be kinda shaky, but either way, we'll make it work. Um, so as we go through um, tonight, maybe you can find me something to prop this up with, like some books or something. We are having Facebook Live from Grandma's house, really. Uh, That's the fun part of Monday nights for us. It's a very busy night once the school year starts back. So we do American Heritage Girls and then try to run home and get the kids in bed and move on and do other things. Um, so we'll see if this will work or not. Unplug that. We're going to prop you up, Facebook. We're going to get you settled, even though the, the phone didn't want to do it. There, Facebook's happy. Okay, so to get us started on everything else, now that we're all set, Q&A, every Monday night, you can ask any, any questions that you want, uh, and I will gladly answer them. And we always come in with a topic. So the topic for tonight is organizing your coupons and getting faster at what you're doing with less headache. Because a lot of folks, you know, I have props tonight that I brought in, I love my props. Um, a lot of folks see folks in the store with this guy, this massive, huge um, coupon binder, and honestly, going here will kill you. It's not long term. You're gonna do a coupon binder and you're going to give up within you know, maybe a couple months, because of the amount of time that this is gonna require. So I would encourage anyone that's getting started, you don't go here, and what I mean by that, I'm gonna show you, you're gonna like it. It's pretty, we're all women, uh, most of us are, Not, nothing against the men, I think the men who coupon are awesome, but most of us are women, and we look at this, and being women, we're like, ooh, I want it. It's so organized. Don't do this. Um, this is uh, coupon origami. That's what I've always called it. You have to take the coupons and shove them in all the little pockets, but it's not that precise because um, it's actually a lot more work. You're gonna sit here and study each and every single one of them. Do I want the picture to show? Do I want the expiration date to show? This is a process that is a lot more than you think it is once you get into it. And so long-term, this isn't where you wanna be. Way too much work, uh, and I don't know you would even be able to keep it up. Most folks, I would say that start using a binder, stop within um, a couple months because you just burn out. You hate the amount of work required. You have to cut all the coupons and get them in here. You don't actually save any more money using a binder than you would if you were um, using any other system because I still uh, have all the coupons available, available to me. I don't need the binder to be able to save any more money. Yes, if you took this in the store, you've got them all with you in the store. I have five kids. I want to be in and out of that grocery store as fast as humanly possible. I do not want to be flipping pages and finding coupons. No, this is out. This is not the way to do it. Um, what I would recommend instead, and this is what I've pushed folks to do for years, is that you keep your inserts Whole. So this is the insert that came to me today. Someone already asked on um, the Google Hangout side of things um, that you want to buy inserts. So this is what I do. I do not get my Sunday paper for inserts. I get my inserts online and they come in the mailbox. So all of my inserts for this week are right here. I just opened the mailer as I got to my mama's house. Came in the mail today. I use a website called SundayCouponInserts.com and I have a standing subscription to four. So what that means is that, let's see if I can, there were four, there were four red plums and four Procter & Gamble's. I'm gonna get four of every single insert that was in the paper. So it's like buying four papers, but I don't have the paper for stuff. I just have the coupons. That's really all I want anyway. Um, so that's what I do, sundaycouponinserts.com. There are a number of sites that do this. So I'm not trying to push one over another. This is just the one that I use. Um, so take the insert straight from the paper and grab a handy-dandy pen. Uh, it's very low-key here. 
um, grab a handy dandy pen and just write the date on the front. So these came out in yesterday's paper and I normally would use a black pen so you can actually see it. Um, but I'm just gonna write 828 on the front. And then these guys are gonna show up on my shopping list. So when I go to Southern Savers and I pull up the CVS list, for example, CVS, which is southernsavers.com slash CVS. So here, I'm all ready for you guys. I have my CVS list ready for this week. Um, so I went to southernsavers.com slash CVS and all the deals that are up for CVS this week, it's gonna tell you to find coupons when they show up in your paper. So um, I will show Google Hangout folks first. So you see the $1 off Colgate total, SS828. Um, and then for you guys, Let's see, where is it? That's really hard, you're sideways. Oh, and backwards. I didn't realize Facebook Live did that. I can't show you anything, Facebook. Um, I don't know anybody that could, um, but the shopping list on Southern Savers will say SS828. That's telling you, come into your handy dandy coupon binder, that's not a binder, um, coupon accordion file. This is really what I keep them all in. Find August 28th and pull out that insert that I just told you you needed. So they're all whole. Uh, I don't cut them until I need them, until they show up on my shopping list. That I'm not sitting around and cutting coupons that I'm never gonna use. I'm only gonna, I'm gonna keep them all, I have them, but I'm only gonna end up cutting a coupon when it shows up on my shopping list, when it's gonna make a deal. So I grab the Colgate coupon from SSH28, once I grab that coupon, which is a dollar off right here, grab that coupon, I go to CVS and I have free toothpaste this week using this coupon. So that's the goal, is that your shopping list from Southern Savers is going to tell you what date to go look for, cut the coupon you need, and then head to the store. So I don't need to cut them all. I don't need to do anything other than put the date on the front of the insert and shove them into a big accordion file or a big hanging file system, whatever you want. And you wanna be able to keep about, so this guy that I just held up is a 12 pocket accordion file, and that's perfect. It will hold three months worth of inserts. And the reason that I want it this big, um, which isn't really big in all honesty, it's kind of thin, but the reason that I want 12 weeks is that at about the three month mark, inserts start expiring. So you're holding on to them for most of their life. Once it's full, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna find the oldest week that's in here and I'm just gonna pull it out and put this week in its spot. So every week I'm getting rid of one and, and I'm just moving on back. But organization wise, you know, Sunday night, I'm not sitting around cutting any coupons. Uh, I'm just putting some done, took two seconds to organize Sunday's coupons. Um, then I'm going to get the shopping list ready. That's what this is that I showed you a little bit ago. And as I cut coupons, however many I had of that item, so our Colgate total, it's only a limit of one, but I put a one next to it so that when I get to the store, I know exactly how many I want to buy. Uh, over here, I'm going to get two Frosted Flakes because that makes the better deal. Uh, I have a $1 off printable, or I have two $1 off printables because they have a whole bunch of rewards. And then I have two different apps. Uh, in the end, that's going to make super cheap cereal. But I'm going to do that all the way down. However many coupons I had for something, I'm going to write however many I plan to buy. So my shopping list, I'm just going to follow this in the store. Buy one of this, buy two of this, buy three of this. And then all of my coupons, I'm kind of low-key here. There it is, a block bag. Um, so when I hit the store, I don't bring in anything. I just bring in the Ziploc bag. Um, so it's not tricky at all in that sense of things. So that's the basics of how I'm gonna use it. And we'll go into a little bit more. I just wanna catch up on um, questions. So I have a lot of folks that are already saying that the binder killed them. So yes, anyone that was watching earlier, please don't, don't do the binder. Um, okay, can you order uh, printable coupons? No, you can't. You wouldn't really ever want to order a printable coupon because with printable coupons, I need to know um, that it hasn't been copied, that I have the only version of that coupon. And I can't really do that if somebody's mailing them to me. I don't know what you did with them. So I wouldn't ever recommend getting printable coupons 
anywhere. Even if you're trading with somebody, it, it's just too tricky. I don't want to be the one using a fraudulent coupon. So um, not I, you can't order Plano coupons. Just make it kind of that answer. Jessica asks, uh, not all inserts are the same. Our inserts are SS and RP and have like one coupon um, for denture cream. Yes, Jessica, you're right. Not all inserts are the same. The bigger the city you live in, the more coupons are in your city's paper. So what we've done on Southern Savers is that you can actually log in at the top of the site and you can tell us what city you live in and select your newspaper from the list. Uh, if you have a horrible newspaper, a solution may be that you actually get a different city. So my solution is, like I showed you, my inserts come in the mail. Uh, I don't get Columbia, South Carolina, which isn't that bad of a paper. These guys are actually, if we look at the spine, um, it'll say where it's from, but this is from uh, the Tampa Sunday paper. So it's from Tampa. Tampa doesn't actually get the red plum. Um, so this company's red plums are usually um, from different areas, and this one, it, I have no clue where this is from. <laughs> Uh, it's from Leader, uh, Leader Colony, Fannin County, Irving, uh, different newspapers, somewhere, somewhere is Red Blum, uh, but normally they're from Atlanta, from the Atlanta area. So picking a bigger city, it will give you more coupons. Um, doesn't mean that I can call Atlanta and order Atlanta's paper, by the way. They will mail you Atlanta's paper, but they won't mail you the coupons. They'll just mail you Atlanta's news. I don't want Atlanta's news. I just want their coupons. So site is really the only way to go. You are paying for the paper. The price is not any cheaper for you to buy inserts online, but it could be an option if you're living in a rough city. Um, but you can at least log into Southern Savers and select what paper you're getting so that your shopping list is located specifically for you. If I don't have a coupon in my paper, it won't show up on my printable shopping list if it's not in the newspaper that I'm getting. So under my profile, I have Tampa set as my paper because that's the paper that I'm getting. The buns are gonna correspond to what was in my area. Um, and those are the regional inserts. And just a shout out for the folks that help us there because they are all volunteers um, and they're awesome. They type in what they got in their paper to help everyone else out. And we couldn't really have that feature without those volunteers doing what is in their paper. Um, and if you want your paper covered, you can always email and stand up and volunteer for your city if we don't currently have it covered. Um, I will tell you though, just like I kind of was reading on the um, side of this red plum, one thing to note before you email is that we may actually have a city near you covered. So if you look at the spine, um, you don't really have to be able to read that, but you can tell that there are words on the spine of this. So always look at the spine, or sometimes it's the very, very bottom of other inserts, kind of looking around, that'll say this. these coupons were found in, and it'll list out a whole bunch of newspapers. So for my area, I live in Columbia, South Carolina, but if I look at the spine of my inserts, it'll actually say the Orangeburg News, the Augusta, the Florence County, like this is a, a wide area of South Carolina with a range of a couple hours in all directions that this inserts the same for. So before you start doing a lot of work for a tiny, tiny paper, we may actually cover a bigger city that's right next to you that actually gets the same coupon. So just analyze that first. Um, um, okay, make sure we've caught all up with everything. Um, so Loy says, I really love the binder system. Um, it's so much easier. Sometimes I clip the ones that I'd like to use. Um, oh, let's see, I'm trying to look at your whole um, comment, but my new fangled Android phone won't let me. Uh, I will figure out Android at some point, but it and I aren't always friends right now. Um, so. I will say for some folks that while I am very anti-binder, and I went through that in the beginning, this is not my friend, it's not most people's friends, you will end up hating it for most people. There are definitely binder uh, lovers out there that could probably stand up and give binder testimonials for hours as to how much they love this. 
But for most people, having a binder, um, coupons, and little baseball card, this isn't going to work. For most people, this is kind of madness. Uh, and for some people, you know who you are. You were kind of born to do this kind of system. It's just the, the amount of work required for that. Now, one thing I want to say, and we'll jump back into questions, is that you could easily do a blend between two systems, even these two systems. A blend between I don't cut at all until it shows up on my shopping list and cutting everything under the sun. So, for example, to blend these would mean that I could get this Sunday's paper and I could go through it and say, you know what, I know this $2 off L'Oreal hair care, I'm going to end up using this. And only the coupons that you know you're going to use do I go ahead and cut and put in a binder. And then everything else, you keep it whole and you put it in an accordion system. So you can do that. And that's really you kind of creating that system. It's you deciding what you know you're going to use, what you don't think you're going to use, but we're still going to hold on to it. Uh, and then kind of figuring it out as you go along. It's just more time. You're going to end up cutting coupons that you don't end up using. Um, and what's really going to happen is that you're going to get busy. You're going to go out of town. And this week's inserts, they're going to sit there. You're going to think, well, I'll get through them. I'll work through them. And the next week's are going to come, and they're going to sit on top. And week after week, you're getting a little bit more behind uh, until you're so behind that you're back in an accordion system because you don't have time to go back and cut all of the ones that you might use to put into the binder system. So that's what tends to happen with a lot of us. Um, okay, so I think I'm all caught up Facebook-wise. Um, so Tony's asking, how do I print the CVS spreadsheet or the CVS sheet that I'm showing you? So Tony, if you go to southernsavers.com slash CVS, you all of the deals this week for CVS, and all I did was just check the boxes next to the items that I wanted to buy and generated my very own shopping list. So this is what I plan to get tomorrow. Um, I usually go on Wednesday, but what I plan to go on Wednesday and get uh, free glue, free candy. Um, it'll be almost free L'Oreal. There's a number of deals this week, so pull them all to one shopping list and then head to the store. Um, let's see. Uh, what do I do when I get to the store and cannot use the coupon, so now I have to save it? It's a great question. I've cut them. I have all these cut coupons, but then they end up being out of something, or I change my mind and I'm not going to get it. So where do these go now? You need something with the accordion system, with keeping your inserts whole. i got to have something to keep my loose coupons in. So get a regular little coupon folder if that's what you want to do or a bigger coupon box that maybe has a few more categories. You're not going to have a ton of things in it though. You're going to have the coupons that you cut early that because they were just a crazy high value and you didn't want to miss them. Uh, you're going to have the coupons that you cut and you didn't use and you're going to have some rain checks. But other than that, some of your categories are going to be completely empty. Um, so just kind of Think about that as you're going through. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have a ton, so I don't need 40 million categories. I just need a couple, um, and a normal little coupon folder will typically do it. So that's where I would put them uh, in terms of trying to organize all of these little ones. And then Donica's real question is, okay, now they're cut, but how do I remember what insert they came from? At, at that point, Donica, once I cut them, remembering where they came from. So what you're going to have to do is actually just go back through it before you shop really quick. And that's why I don't want a ton in there. I don't want a ton of extra cut coupons just because I got happy and started cutting. I don't have to go through it all. But once they're in your little coupon folder, you will kind of thumb through it really quick and make sure there's not anything in there that you're missing. Uh, but normally, if I cut a coupon, I am going to end up, this is my free toothpaste this week at CVS, and I am not missing it. Um, so I'm going to end up using it. It's not a big issue um, that you end up with a ton of extra cut coupons. Um, so Trina's saying, I tried the $1 off milk coupon at Walmart yesterday, and it wouldn't scan correctly. You know, Trina, a lot of the comments on that coupon um, said that it didn't work at Walmart. So I'm not 
quite sure where that one was from. It was a dollar off milk uh, that was available for any brand, any gallon, given to you by, like, had the Olympics logo on it. It's working in some stores, um, but in Walmart stores it wouldn't scan. So some other folks probably had the same issue. Uh, hopefully you can find a store that will take it though and not have any issues with it because a dollar off milk is pretty great. Um, so what do, about buying coupons in bulk? So I showed you that I um, grab my or I get my coupons online and I get a set of four. So I have, it's like buying four papers. This is not what most people need to do. So before you think I'm like some crazy person and I buy insane amounts of coupons, I have five kids. I am a crazy person right there is what most of you would say. I love my five children, but we eat a lot more food uh, than other people. So I do have more coupons than most people would need. I would say most people, in terms of getting started couponing, you need two inserts each week, but you don't need 10 or 12. The more inserts that you have, the more time this is gonna take. You have to cut them, you have to organize them. You know, Even getting this list ready, having four sets, means here, you know, we've got, yes, it's three free nail polishes, but I still have to open up all three of those inserts and find the coupon and cut the coupon. Um, so it slows you down. The more inserts you have, the slower you're going to get. If you don't need them, I have a ton of inserts. Uh, now, if you want them, if you're going to buy for the food bank and the church and everybody else, you can get in bulk. Um, Sunday coupon inserts that I get mine from, that's the website, sundaycouponinserts.com. They do offer uh, sets of 10. I point. You can also, if this is your question in terms of bulk, you can go to some sites. I'm going to pull out my little Colgate coupon here. You can go to some sites and actually just order 10 of this if that's what you wanted. For me, that would make me cry because now I would have 10 cut coupons that don't work in my system of keeping my coupons whole and only cutting them when I go to the store. I, I don't want to do that. Um, so I don't, I don't know that this is the route that I would go for everything, but there are definitely going to be some coupons that come out that are super high value and you're immediately going to say, you know what, I want 10 of those and I don't want to have to buy 10 papers. So there could be moments where you wanted to hop on and do that and there are websites that do that. One that I've used in the past is thecouponclippers.com. You have to put the the in the front. But thecouponclippers.com, they're based out of Orlando and a very sweet family that runs it. So you could do that if you wanted to. Um, and there are a lot of other people that do that too. Trina asks, is there a particular day of the week that I post on Southern Savers every day of the week, Trina? Um, but grocery lists and drugstore lists all go up before the ad starts. Uh, if your grocery ad starts on Wednesday, I can pretty much guarantee you the list will be up before Wednesday, except there's one exception. I'm not able to get Food City up early. I don't have access to an early Food City ad. So if you're a Food City shopper, I don't even get the ad until they put it on their website and I start work and I usually can get it up by noon on Wednesday. But everybody else's ad, Publix is up on Monday. Kroger is usually up by Monday night. Uh, Bilo is Tuesday morning. You know, all of them are up early. Drug stores are up by Thursday night. They start. So this list, you've had five days so far to prep for this week's deals um, by the time that ad comes up. Okay. Uh, I'm not quite sure why we're having feed issues. My mom's internet's actually better than my internet. Um, that was my hope in switching uh, or in coming here that we wouldn't have any issues, but hopefully it will start to work for you guys and not keep cutting in and out. Um, okay, did Red Plum stop putting inserts in the mail? I used to get a Red Plum insert in the mail with junk mail. So Paul, they don't put them in the mail as often as they used to, definitely. Um, and what you can do is go to redplum.com. If you want to email me, I'll dig and find the link because I got to dig for it. It's not easy to find on their site, but you can make sure that they have your mailing address. So if they were at one point mailing to you and they're not anymore, you can kind of go back in and make sure that you are on the, li the list basically. 
uh, but they are not mailing in all areas. If Red Plum comes in your Sunday paper, you won't get anything in your mail anymore. It's only by paper. Um, if you're in an area, however, that they cut from Sunday papers like Tampa, then I could get it um, in some select areas in the mail. So uh, if you want to email me, Jenny at southernsavers.com, I can try to find that link for you and email it back. Um, um, and Trina, in terms of the milk, someone chimed in on Facebook and said that the milk did, the coupon did scan for them at Kruger. So, um, or whoever it was that asked now that I'm looking back. Oh, it was Trina. So just trying a different store. If Walmart wouldn't take that milk coupon, hopefully other folks would. Um, okay. So Kelly asks, when I buy coupons, do I get them in time for this week's sale? So Kelly, these are the coupons that came out in yesterday's paper and they come in my mail on Monday. So I have up on Sunday anyway and they're in my mailbox by Monday when the mail lady comes. So yes, I have them for all the deals that I want to do. I don't even usually shop to problem for me at all. Um, okay. Do you think that CVS or Walgreens has better weekly deals? So Kim, I actually think that the deals of the drugstores are almost the same. Um, they duplicate each other constantly. I'm a big CVS fan, mostly because of their coupon policy and the ease of using their rewards because shopping in Walgreens can sometimes be a headache it, or not, let me rephrase that. I don't wanna make it seem like you shouldn't shop there, but if you're brand new, shopping in Walgreens can be very tricky. They have a lot of quirks to their system. If I pay with a register award and tried to buy another item, I won't get it. Uh, if I paid with a register award that was the same value of the reward that's about to print for something else, it won't print. Um, balance rewards can be difficult to use, though they've made some policies that have made it a little easier, but it's not always as simple as we want it to be. Where in CVS, it's much more simplified and CVS puts out a bunch of coupons that are just kind of off a whole category. So for example, one deal that I plan on grabbing tomorrow, L'Oreal, or sorry, Wednesday, I have my days all off this week, uh, L'Oreal Lip Cosmetics. When you buy $15 worth of L'Oreal Lip, you get a $5 extra care buck. L'Oreal Lip Palettes now that are $14.99. It's a penny short, but the extra care buck will still print. That doesn't happen in Walgreens, by the way. So I'll still get this extra care buck. Plus, uh, I have a coupon for 30% off my total purchase that CVS emailed. And this L'Oreal is not on sale, it's full price. So after the 30% off and after the coupons that I have, I will end up basically getting the L'Oreal lip um, palette, which is various uh, words are gone. They're not mascaras. Um, <laughs> Lip glosses, that's all that I can think of. Lipsticks, thank you, various lipsticks, all in different shades in one palette together. It'll end up being free after the CVS coupons, um, the 30% off, the Ibotas, and the rewards. So that's the part that I really like. Walgreens doesn't give us a lot of just off your total purchase type coupons, um, though the deals are the same. They'll still run the same kind of balance reward, 5,000 balance reward points. Uh, when you buy $15 worth of L'Oreal, it just it's how kind of how the game plays out across all the other coupons running in the store too. So CVS kind of just wins for me across the board. Um, okay, and Paul, I agree. It is cheaper to buy the Sunday paper in most areas than to get the inserts online. Yes, you're right. It depends on where you live. So in my neck of the woods, the Sunday paper costs $3, um, which is steep. And then during football season, they up that by another dollar. I don't follow the Gamecocks. I am not from Columbia, South Carolina. I am a Seminole. Um, so if you want me to pay an extra dollar for a newspaper, you can put some news in there about Florida State. But Columbia isn't gonna do that. So I'm not gonna pay $4 all during um, football season for your newspaper. 
Um, so for me in the end, going online, it actually is a deal versus paying that price for the Sunday, uh, Sunday coupons uh, in our area. But in some areas, you can get newspapers much cheaper. And one place that you should always check for every city, not all of them sell it, but most cities, the Dollar Tree does sell newspapers for a dollar. Uh, and they'll sell them until they sell out, but most of the time they're sold out quick because people know that I can get this $3 Sunday paper for a dollar in Dollar Tree. So that could be a big way to save money um, depending on how much, you're pay how much you're spending. So, and another one, Paul, so you're saying a Sunday paper in Charlotte, you should get the Charlotte paper. There should never be a reason that you got papers online. The bigger the city you're in, the more coupons are in that city's paper. And Charlotte's paper is a great paper for coupons. Um, so don't go anywhere else. Don't hop online. You have one of the best papers in the South. So the biggest papers that we see in the South, if you're kind of curious, Atlanta, Charlotte, Tampa, um, Birmingham, maybe if I was in the Alabama area, Birmingham would be my choice over all the other Birmingham papers or all the other Alabama papers uh, and Jacksonville, Florida Times Union. That's it. Biggest papers in the Southeast. If I can get one of those, then I have really all the coupons that are out if that's how you want to look at it. So don't go anywhere else, Paul. Just get your paper and you're good. Um, okay. Thank you, Kim. So Kim says, my issue is with the people that buy 100 of an item and then resell it. Usually I only purchase what I need and I would never need 30 L'Oreal lip palettes. I agree completely. Um, there's enough deals at CVS to last most of us a lifetime. But the thankful part in this is that most of the deals in CVS are um, have limits. So you can't get more than one of a lot of items um, or two would be a max in some situations. So that at least holds some people back. You can't go crazy. You've got to stick with the limits. Um, but it is uh, an option, I guess, if you wanted to have multiple cards. Kind of a crazy idea, though, because you got to keep up with it all. So most people are just going to get the one that's allowed in the drug stores. And the grocery stores is where people tend to go a little bit crazy. Um, what about grocery coupons? I find it easier to find coupons on household, beauty, baby, etc. So Jenny, uh, what I would recommend is head to the coupon database that's on Southern Savers. Um, so if you go to southernsavers.com, the coupon database is in the top right hand corner or if you're on mobile, it's in the dead center. And type in anything that you're looking for. So the coupon database, I think it's got over 7,000 coupons in it right now. And you'll be surprised how many are out there that are for items that you didn't really realize. Uh, it has everything from what's in the paper to what you can print to mobile apps. So lots of coupons that could be available that you just didn't even realize are out there. Um, and that is on Southern Savers. Rita's got a question, Saving Star related. Since Saving Star is not intended to be used with a paper manufacturer's coupon, what's an easy way to avoid this? I often forget what I have selected on Saving Star. Um, so Rita, Saving Star doesn't have a way to um, not allow you to use it with a manufacturer's coupon. They may not want you to use it with a manufacturer's coupon, but they will always accept it. Um, no matter how you have paid in the store. And they kind of acknowledge that too. All of the apps will work with coupons that have been used with them unless they specifically say may not be used with another coupon um, like the Checkout 51s and some of the Ibotas. If you do submit a receipt and a coupon has been used on those specific ones, they will reject it. Um, you won't really have anything that's going to be rejected on the Saving Star issue, if that's your set them all. It's one of those where they would like to live in a happy land and say, this is what we want you to do, but they're not doing anything on their part to actually um, change any of their system to make it where you couldn't do that, nor do they even care to. Um, and I don't know if that helps to explain it or not, but honestly with Saving Star, I wouldn't really worry about it. Um, that has been what they've said for years. While other companies have come out with the technology and changed technology to not allow you to use coupons on top of their app coupons if that's not what they intend, Saving Star has never taken the effort to do that uh, or to make changes related to that. Um, so most people do use them 
together on the same item if you don't want to use them together. If you are just gung-ho, I am not going to pair them together at all, then what I would recommend is you don't ever load a Saving Star offer until you are ready to shop. Um, so I go to savingstar.com basically as I'm checking out, and I load the coupons then that I know I'm not going to use any other coupon for in the store. My way of using Saving Star is that I go in and I just load it all because if I don't use them, they will expire and go away. But if I do use them, then I have them saved and I'm set because some of those offers go away very quickly. Um, so it just depends on how you want to address it. Um, but you trying to avoid it, it really should be their system that just automatically kicks it out like every other system that's out there versus you having to avoid it um, because they've just kind of said it would be great if you didn't do this. Um, and they haven't even really said it in that manner either. Um, on Ibotta and other apps, do you have to select the items before you shop? Or can you select and scan even after shopping? So Diane, on most apps, you can come home and select and unlock the offer for Ibotta after you've bought the item. It's not really down to like the minute. MobiSave is the one app that says that you need to select it before you shop, but I've still come home and selected it after I shop. I don't think that they're analyzing down to the second on your receipt. I also tend to upload these in the car, like in the parking lot. So I'm not waiting a really long time between one or the other. I've even come home and selected Saving Star. Um, I purchased something and it's still come through, even in stores like CVS. Because with CVS, I don't take a picture of the receipt. CVS and Saving Star, it's automatic by them sharing what you bought straight to Saving Star. Um, just because you scanned your CVS card. So you can come home and and it still comes through, even through the CVS system. So it doesn't have to be immediate. Um, and it, um, Shanna, I agree. Saving Star's gotten a little tricky on scanning issues lately, and uh, but they should be letting you link your loyalty cards. Now, they don't work with all stores like that, so that could possibly be the issue, like Bilo and Kroger, some of the stores that we have loyalty cards for, they no longer work loyalty-based. Um, they work by a picture, so I don't know if that's the issue or not, um, in that you're trying to load a card that they no longer work with. You know, it kind of makes me want to get a new card and test it out. I haven't had to load a new card in Saving Star in years, uh, having been with them for so long. So I don't know uh, if anyone else is having issues loading cards into the system or not. But I have had folks having issues scanning their receipts. So Angela, you're not alone on that. I've also had receipts lately that are printing and they're not changing the ink in those receipt printers. And so just the receipt is really rough. And I know it's not going to go through. And if you get that before you even leave the store and you know you've got a ton of mobile apps, I would recommend just stopping by customer service and asking if they can reprint it because you're just going to go home and get it kicked out anyway. So if it's an issue, just kind of save yourself the headache and get a better copy of the receipt um, from a different register, from customer service, basically. Um, Yes, and Sharon, Ibotta, the one exception on Ibotta, and thanks for pointing that out. So um, for Diane, for your question a little bit further, if you shop at Food Lion, Food Lion is, I think, one of the only stores on Ibotta that you can actually link your card to, and I don't have to take a picture and get the Ibotta deals back. So if you shop at Food Lion, you do have to unlock the offers before you shop, yes. Um, and I forget about Food Lion and that. I don't shop in Food Lion. Um, we have them, but Food Lion to me is a lot like Walmart. There aren't a lot of um, promotions or deals for that. Okay, does anyone know if you can use coupons with the new delivery service at Walmart? You cannot. You have to order and pay online um, before you even get to the store. So they won't take any coupons with that except for the coupon code that they do have that is out for your first purchase. So you can get $10 off of your first purchase with various coupon codes. I actually got one in my mail today uh, asking me to do it. So you go over the place. That's the only coupon that's allowed with the Walmart delivery service. And anyone that lives 
in some of the major cities. CVS is offering this. Target is offering this with curbside, a curbside pickup. And a lot of those stores are also offering coupon codes related to that. So CVS has $10 off any curbside. That's a really good deal if you live in an area that has CVS curbside. So Google it when we're done. Uh, because if you live in an area that has CVS curbside, they just $10 off any order. So uh, bounty paper towels are $9.99 this week. Free paper, whatever you want. It's your first order, but it's 10 bucks off, and there's no um, max purchase needed. So take advantage of that one. Um, oh, just lost everybody on the Facebook side. Um, oh, well. Oh, we're going to blame it on Android. We'll try to come back on. Maybe we lost everybody. Maybe they'll come back. Um, we'll see. If anybody was watching on Facebook, you're welcome to rejoin. We'll see where we get. Um, but what we were talking about, CVS wise, make sure that you are getting the CVS um, or trying for CVS curbside. It's not available in all areas, though. So just in major cities right now. Um, okay. I think. Google Hangout wise, we are all caught up on questions. And for folks that are switching over from the Hangout that just cut off on Facebook um, to the current Hangout, it'll take a little while for folks to filter in. Um, but between the two Hangouts, if you have any questions, feel free to stick those in the comments and I will gladly get to them. Um, we've been hitting a lot on coupon organization tonight. So one thing that I wanted to um, kind of go over really quickly, I have this guy here. This is the Bilo ad that starts on Wednesday. So this is the new Bilo ad. Uh, and talk about coupon organization in terms of how to pair that in with the deals that you see in the store. So when I grab the new Bilo ad, you can kind of see um, my markups all over it. But the first thing, if you're old school, keep in mind this is what Southern Savers does for you. So you can go to southernsavers.com uh, slash Bilo, and you'll see all the deals for Bilo. But what you want to start with is just looking for the deals that are at least 40% off. So you can see all my little circles everywhere. Um, this is the Bilo ad that starts in two days. So that's why it says Happy Labor Day, in case you're curious. Um, I want to circle what I think is good. And then that's what I want to be looking for coupon wise. And that's where I would recommend that either you let me make a list for you or you use a coupon database. So I don't want you to just get out a binder and just start flipping. That's kind of crazy. Even if you're a binder person, use a coupon database so that you can say, okay, Dixie Crystal Sugar is $2. Do I have any Dixie Crystal coupons? Or do I have any Dukes coupons? All my South Carolina folks love Dukes. I'd never heard of Dukes growing up in Florida. Um, but I can come to the database, I can type in Dixie Crystal Sugar, and boom, I can see all the Dixie Crystal coupons that are available by typing that into the database. So if you're old school and you want to get the ad out and you want to do it yourself, then you want to get out a Sharpie marker and just start circling and going to town on anything that you think is good, and then use the database to find the coupons that might be available. Doesn't mean you, it's so hard to not to look and go backwards doesn't mean you're going to find coupons on everything. I'm not going to find coupons on um, squash and zucchini and all the other things um, in the ad, but I am at least going to try by using the database um, to, to help you. So go all the way through, and I do. I just kind of go crazy circling. You're getting a quick glimpse of all the deals starting. Um, start circling and then start to find the coupons for them if you want to go old school. Uh, new school would be that that's where I'm going to come in. I do not type the entire ads. So I only type whatever is 40% off or more. That's really my my threshold of what is a sale. Because you're going to see a lot of things. Uh, let's see, what can we pick on Bilo here? Uh, a lot of things where it's just really not a deal. They're going to tell you it's a deal, but you're not really saving anything to buy that item. Um, over the regular price for whatever that item might be. Um, I'm trying to find kind of a, a perfect example for that. But what I'm, what I'm searching for, I guess, I'll show you that as I study it, is it tells you the math. It tells you exactly how much you're saving on every single thing. So even here, it's not really an amazing deal. I did circle it. It will be in tomorrow's list. Um, you're going to save 21 cents to buy Bush's baked beans. 
but I circled it for another reason in this situation, just to explain myself. And that is that after this week, this isn't going to be on sale again for a while. Um, so grilling season ends uh, here in you know another week. So we don't have any coupons for this. It's not a massive sale, but it's about to jump up really in price um, beyond where even that says. Then you'll see other things where it says, you know, buy three and save 90 cents, 30 cents off of each of those items. It's not really that big of an, an impact. So everything that I'm typing on the list, generally 40% off or more. And then I'm going to match in all those coupons, just like the CVS printout now. So I see that Kellogg's is on sale and I have all the coupons to go with my Kellogg's deal that I plan on using. And I've actually removed the coupons that I don't plan on using. So you can clean up your shopping list too before you go to the store. So this is all cleaned up and happy with exactly what I plan on using when I go to the, go to CVS later this week. That's the goal is that to kind of do all the work for you. Um, so Trey was asking how do we, or when I, before we got kicked off, hopefully Trey has moved over to the new one on Facebook. But how do we get started if you're brand new? And if you're brand new, let me hold your hand and then go in and you see, um, you know, let's pull this back up for more examples. Um, this is a great one, by the way. If you love coffee, we see that all K-Cups are five bucks a box um, at Bilo and Winn-Dixie stores. This is current. This is running right now, but it will continue to run into next week. So if you're brand new, cups are five bucks a box. I want to get enough of that item to last me six weeks. If you drink coffee and numerous cups of coffee every day of the week, then that might mean a lot of boxes. Um, but every deal that you see that's a super great price, I'm not going to see again for six weeks. So everything in a grocery store follows a six week sale cycle. That's kind of my answer for you, Trey. So if you're just getting started, you want to follow what's on sale, 40% off or more, and then buy enough of what's on sale to last you six weeks when that item comes back on sale again. And as long as you do those two things together, you're going to save a massive amount of money because you're never going to run out and the item be full price, which is where most of us are. You know, you want to go to the grocery store and you start making a list of everything you need. Well, that's going to cost you a lot of money because you need it all. You're willing to pay any price really for those items and I don't want to be in that boat I want to be paying the best price for those items and then grabbing enough of them to, so that I only have to pay the best price every time it's on sale so hopefully that's kind of like the four minute answer as to the fast way to save the most so the list on Southern Savers check the boxes of what you will use and then buy six weeks worth of those items and the next week kind of do the same thing again six weeks worth of what you'll use one week worth of what you have to have. Crystal, great question to kind of flow into after that. How do you apply that um, when um, it's only just one person? So I get a lot of folks I'm like, I don't want 42 boxes of Dr. Shells. Neither do I. Six weeks, that's all we need here. It's however much you will use in six weeks, Crystal. So I would still say, even being single, that you're going to eat more than one box of cereal in a six week period of time. Uh, I'm currently sitting in my mom's dining room. So to point out my mom for a second, normally when my phone will work correctly, uh, I love the back end of what you can't see on social media, but normally when my phone works correctly, uh, it sits on a box. So Facebook, I'll turn you around. You can see it's sitting on a box of Cheez-Its. At home, it sits on a box of cereal. Um, so that the phone can sit up behind my computer. And today, it didn't want to do that. It wanted to be sideways, so I had to kind of prop it up against something else. But even my mom, who is single and lives alone, has more than one box of cereal in her pantry. So go, mom, because you are going to do that. In a six-week period of time, you're not going to use just one box of cereal. So you're going to get what you need. Now, for my family of seven, you don't want to know how many boxes of cereal are in my pantry. They live, they take over a whole little shelf and they flow to the floor to where the baby knows that they're on the floor and the baby will be hauling around a box of cereal with her because she knows how to get into the pantry and thinks that she can just help herself anytime that she would like. So we're all going to buy different amounts, but for you being alone, you just want to get enough for you on a six week cycle. Does uh, this six week sale apply to soft drinks? Um, 
is crystal, it applies to pretty much everything, but soft drinks are an exception because we have three major brands. And really, we just see each of those brands rotated through in the same almost exact deals. Um, so if you're a Coke drinker, it's just going to be three more weeks and Coke is back on sale or Pepsi because there's only three major brands. Um, occasionally, it would be four and they would throw in a house brand, but a lot of times grocery stores throw in the house brands with the national brands. They don't take a fourth week to kind of work in the national brands into that. So um, not the same, I guess, in that sense. I don't have to go to a full six-week six cycle. And what about Target? So Target does not follow an ideal six-week cycle because Target isn't really a grocery store. Um, they sell a bunch of paper goods and a bunch of household items that we're gonna grab, but a lot of the deals that you get in Target are more like hit and miss treasure hunt deals. They're not where we're gonna go for a lot of the items that you, like your regular purchases. You may love them, but you're actually gonna save more money to be in a grocery store for your groceries and a drug store for everything else. And I know that, that part might be mind blowing, but you're gonna get some crazy good deals in drug stores. Um, an example, I keep pulling out my CVS list tonight, but Bounty Paper Towels, 12 roll pack, and Charmin Bath uh, Tissue, 16 roll pack. They're $9.99 this week at CVS. Um, when I buy two of those and I buy a bottle of Tide uh, and then use $4 worth of coupons, uh, after all of that, you're gonna pay 21 bucks you're gonna get seven bucks back in rewards, and you're really gonna end up paying about $4, $5 a piece for those items um, after the coupons and after the sale. 12 roll pack for five bucks in, in Target. So the drugstores usually will always tend to work. Um, do I have a list of what items do go on sale each six weeks? Um, Jody, honestly, it's everything in the grocery store. Grocery stores follow a six week cycle. so. Think of whatever it is that you like to buy. Every item has a best price. So even gluten-free pasta has a best price, and I wanna learn what that good price is, and then when I spot that great price on the exact thing that I need, um, get enough of it to last you six weeks, and you'll see it back on sale. Can you get the Procter & Gamble inserts without buying a Sunday newspaper. Uh, Anthea, the only time that you could uh, get the Procter & Gamble inserts would be if you head online to get them. Um, so Sunday coupon inserts. There are a lot of places that sell them as well. So that's just one of many, uh, and you'll find a lot of different sites that offer them. So. That would be it if you didn't want to get your local paper. But the actual copies of the, you know, I actually have one here. Um, the actual ones that are coming in your paper. I have way too many inserts next to me. Um, these guys, only way to get this is from a Sunday paper or a mailing subscription of some sorts. There are a lot of these that are available to print, though. So if you go um, to coupons.com and other sites, you will find these available to print. These are all in the coupon database on Southern Savers as well. So you can type in Charmin and Bounty and find printable versions as well as versions that were in the Sunday paper. So southernsavers.com and then um, slash coupon database, and you'll find it. Okay. Um, okay, I'm making sure. I think we're all caught up question-wise. Uh, we've been a little all over the board tonight, uh, which is great. I like it when y'all keep me hopping. Um, go back just to make sure. Okay, so I'll go ahead and kind of, um, I think we hit everything organizational-wise um, that I would normally share with you. Uh, printable coupons are the last thing that I wanted to mention quickly though. So how do we organize all the ones that we print early? That's usually what folks ask. And that's where I'm gonna say you need to have a little tiny coupon holder that you can stick them in if you printed them early. But I wouldn't recommend that you print a ton early. And I know that may seem a little backwards, um, but just because the coupon's there doesn't mean I have to print it. I follow three rules with printable coupons as to what you should print early and what you should just wait on. So for me, if it's a high value coupon, I would print it when you see it. An example would be the $3 off OxyClean coupon that we saw come out in, uh, yesterday available as a printable. Print that when you see it. It makes for 99 cent laundry detergent. It's not gonna last long. So print it when you see it. Uh, the other one for me is if it's a brand you know you will use, then print that too. So 
In my house, my children love Pop-Tarts. They are not the healthiest in the world, but I love a nice, quiet, peaceful breakfast. You may eat a Pop-Tart. So if I see a Pop-Tart coupon, I'm gonna print it when I see it. I know that when it's on sale, we will buy this item. Uh, and then the third rule that I use is a vegetable coupon. So if we see frozen vegetables or canned vegetables or even fruit, canned fruit, even like the Del Monte little fruit cups, I will print it, we will eat it. So any of those. So high value, a brand that we will use, or fruit and veggie. Everything else, leave it there. The dollar off Maybelline, it's okay. It will be there. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, you know, the 55 cent off Hormel can chili, not going to go anywhere. If you'll use it, great. Add it to your shopping list. Go ahead and print it, but only when you're about to head to the store uh, or getting ready for a This is just randomly printing it and hoping that a deal pops up. Um, so I'm not going to print a ton of things. I'm usually going to print right before I go to the store. So I'm going to print the items the shopping list tells me to print, and I'm going to paper clip them to the top or put them in my trusty Ziploc bag um, and be done. Like, this is what I'm going to walk into CVS with um, when I head in later this week, um, plus my Colgate coupon that I took out just a second ago. So you don't have to organize those if I'm only printing them right before I go to the store. What about acorns? So the acorns that are on the list, uh, you'll see them as you're scrolling through the CVS list or whatnot. The acorns are for the items that I really don't want you to miss. They're the free items or the 10 cent items. Everything on the list is a great price. It is 40% off or more. We have coupons for it. But the acorns are just the ones that I'm like, please, in a really long list, don't miss this one. That's really my goal in putting those there. Um, Crystals asks, how much on average do we save a week? So last week, I always detail this out on Fridays. Last week, our weekly total savings, I think we bought over like $250 worth of stuff. And total across three stores, we spent about 80 or 90. We were a little high because of CVS and some issues with CVS glitches. Um, that's okay. You have good weeks and you have bad weeks. But total for us, we still saved over 100 and 50, 170, I think, dollars for the week. Um, and then, honestly, the next question I get right behind that. So this CVS trip, for instance, everything we're going to grab is completely free. I have a massive amount of, of extra care bucks. I probably won't pay a dime. I will leave CVS and not pay a dime. Um, this trip took maybe 20 minutes to gather the shopping list and cut the coupons. It's not a super long list but to gather the shopping list and cut the coupons, 20 minutes worth. So it's well worth your time in the end, especially when you're in the, we're gonna save over 100 bucks for the 30 or 45 minutes worth to cut the coupons. Definitely uh, well worth your time. Okay. <laughs> uh, that is a huge glitch, Anthea. Anthea said she had a CVS glitch and her CVS $3 off Gillette coupons became 20 years out of date. Um, who knew they even had coupons 20 years ago for those items? I don't, I don't know that they did. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and call it here. We always go for an hour uh, every Monday night, and we've been on a really great spell with no breaks, but I am gonna take a break next Monday night, so no Google Hangout next Monday night. Uh, we'll be back with a Google Hangout the following Monday night. Um, so 8.30 Eastern, always the same time, hopefully uh, always the same place. Um, and if you have any other questions, you can um, email me, jenny at southernsavers.com, or send me a Facebook message, and I'll gladly answer them there. Um, so thanks for joining me tonight. I hope we got most of your questions answered and probably a whole lot more, and I hope you guys have a great week.